Newton right there, there huh, Deep Fox? The news. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Man, that's crispy <laughs> right there. That's that's looking good. Aaron Fox joining us. I think we're the final thing before he's able to get out of here. Uh, yeah, this the only is it. thing keeping you from freedom? They didn't tell you we, we got you for 30 <laughs> minutes today, though. They, they didn't tell <laughs> hey, tell you that. Uh, what's this like for you, man? What, going into your eighth year now? Year eight, yeah. Yeah, what's it like now? Man. It's like, it's surreal. Like, the time really does fly by. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm in a blessed place, so, yeah. Hey, De'Aaron, given that you've been here as many years as you have, how nice is it this year to be starting your third year with this regime and this coach? I think that's uh, I think that's the best part. I think, um, like, you're coming into a season knowing that you – Give yourself you get you have a chance every single night uh, that you go out there and it wasn't always like that so um i feel like we're, we're in a good place i feel like guys have been here guys have been putting in work playing five on five trying to get into as much game shape as you possibly can like mm -hmm. it's, it's really hard to replicate that but i think guys are ready tell me about your off season man because you've done a lot you know a new baby mm. went over to china what's it been <laughs> like for you this off season it's been great man uh obviously i don't want my off season to be this long again right but, right right uh, we definitely had a great off season obviously had a baby uh i had to go to china right after having a baby yeah. and then uh the, the new shoe coming out yes it's been, it's been a great off season but uh right. I, I was ready to get started yeah can you share with us uh we're just asking colby about this what it was like for you when you first found out, however you found out, probably before the rest of us, that Demar might be coming here. How did you feel? What was that like? So whenever uh, it, it was, it was a, it was a process. Um, but whenever I found out that you know he had interest in coming here, you know I got his number, hit him, you know let him know how much uh, we would want him, how much I thought that he could help us, he, and we can help him. Uh, how much I could help him, pers uh, how much I can personally help him, how much he could mm -hmm. help me, and. Um, no, I think he was sold on obviously what we're building here. You know, he doesn't have, you know, he doesn't have 10 years left to play. So, right. um, you know, he has that short window where he's trying to win. He's still playing at a high level and he's trying to win. And the fact that he chose us to come, he, he chose to come here and uh, he feels like he has a chance to win a championship here. You know, I feel like tells a lot about where we are now as an organization, getting a free agent it, like it, that. It does speak to what you guys have put together. The building now. Years. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, and we're in the same boat, obviously. We have I have more time than him, but I don't have time to waste. Right. Mm. Ooh, I like that. I wow. like that. Hey, hey, D Fox, take me back to uh the California classic when you and Damar walked out. And I, I look at certain moments in Sacramento, sort of like movies, you know, Domas first game, first playoff game. That describe what that was like, man. It was dope. So like I was I was I was basically here all day. Um yeah. upstairs in the meetings, everything. I was for everything except for him signing a contract <laughs> or whenever that happened. But right. uh, like I was working out. He came. Well, I worked out. I think I worked out. No, no, no. I was up there. I was upstairs with him um, okay. in Mike's office first. Uh, we chopped it up for a bit uh, with some of the coaches. Um, I left, came down, worked out. Uh, they had they had whatever meetings they had with him mm -hmm. and his agent. Um, and that's when I originally found out that he was. That he was coming, coming, that they in. agreed yeah. on something. So I was in the middle of my workout. They came, stopped my workout, uh, told me about it. So Ooh, that was okay. that was that was great news. <laughs> and then obviously we go to the game. Everybody else finds out about it. Like he's not just pulling out right. here for nothing. Um, <laughs> so it was it was definitely a surreal yeah. day. And like yeah. just being able to watch. I mean, I've watched Demar Demar Derozan since I was in middle school. Yes. So yes. being able to play on his team, but. At this time it's different like when i first came in the league like we had guys but they were on the tail end like they were mm -hmm. just about done he's still playing at a high level so i think it's a lot different may i ask you you said some really interesting you said when you talked to him initially you discussed how he could help you guys you said you said you told him how you could help him may i ask what what you told him in that regard yeah i mean just being able to take pressure off uh -huh. um we we draw the same type of defender like nine times out of ten you know if the bulls played against someone whoever guarded demar Derozan was guarding De'Aaron Fox the next game. Mm. So being able to take, oh, like, who's the best defender going to take? Is he going to take me tonight or is he going to take you tonight? And I feel like that we we, we help each other in That's that right. aspect. And then, um, you know, we want to be able – obviously, he doesn't take a lot of threes, but the way that we touch the paint, the way that I touch the paint, Malik, Domas, the way that we all get downhill, you know, we can make those easy shots for him. So, like, it's not like we're coming in like, yo, you got to be able to take – three catch and shoot three. I mean three mm -hmm. off the dribble threes you don't have to do that if you get three or four catch and shoot threes these are you know some of the yeah. easiest shots right you see those go in it makes the uh, the rest of the game a whole lot easier and then in that aspect for him um the way he gets downhill I think his playmaking is underrated and then me as a shooter uh, I shot 39 percent from catch and shoot threes mm -hmm. last year but I was only shooting like two a game you know like I think I ended up shooting 
I think like six something or maybe seven threes a game, but five of them were off the dribble. Off so the, yeah. if we can change that to only where two may be off the dribble and then I'm getting five or six catch and shoot ones, makes the game a whole lot easier. Wow. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox joining us here. Foxy, you know, a lot of times on Media Day, we talk about expectations. What's your expectations for the team this season? And I say top four, second round minimum. Like, do you guys ever think like that? Or is it championship expectation? How do you how do you view that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think if we made the playoffs last year, then I think people are looking at us a little bit different. Like, yeah. oh, this is a team that could contend because we built off of what we right. did the year before. Uh, but for us, I mean, we, we want to, everybody in here wants to win a championship. And I feel like mm-hmm. uh, last year, if, maybe if we didn't get hurt at certain times, then we could be in a whole lot, a whole different, you know, situation. But in the day, whatever happened, happened last year. But for us, we think that we were right there. Um, we're bringing in a guy who makes us a whole different team, a whole lot yeah. better as a team. Uh, so we feel like, I mean, we want to win a championship at the mm-hmm. end of the day. Yeah. When you look at what you have at home, you got two children now. Congratulations. You look at the fact that you have potentially a huge payday on the horizon. Can you share with us how big this season is for you professionally and personally? Yeah. I mean, for me, um, I mean, I'm not really extensions have been like offered, but for me, I wasn't thinking about that. That's not really what I'm thinking about at the time. Uh, I'm trying to do whatever it takes to, to get this team over the hump. Uh, and then personally, like my, my family's continuing to grow. We're continuing to be better for each other every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's great being able to watch kids grow every single, every, every day, night in yeah. and night out. So it's miraculous. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's hectic, but it's fun. It, yeah. It's great being able to kind of in, in have your print, have your print on a, on a, on a child. Tell me about these new Fox Ones, man, which, that you rock in here. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me you, see. Yeah, yeah, let me see. I'm going to take them uh, off. Any, I'm going to so take them off. Can see. Yeah, yeah. I want to see these things, <laughs> man. It's funny. These are actually, these are Reno's. <laughs> oh, for real? Because I was playing, I was, I had been working out in mine and uh, we had, we didn't get them out soon enough. So these won't be played oh. in. These are, these are Reno's. I had to wear his for media day. So mine okay. wasn't, wasn't beat up a little bit. <laughs> right, right, right. I get it. Uh, tell me about the design, though, man. What, what went into this? Yeah, so, like, the bottom, uh, I don't know if you've seen the the Curry ones. So, the bottoms is kind of like that. Obviously, we didn't have, like, a super long time to yeah. make them. But uh, I was big on the strap. The bloodlines, it was Brandon Jennings' shoe. Ooh, you know, like, 10-something yeah, years, wow. years ago. 10-something years ago. I was like, I, I really wanted a strap. And then we kind of talked about, okay, like, we do a strap. We can do a, fo- a, a fox tail. tail. So, yeah. Like, yeah, that, that'll be a cool concept. <laughs> so, like, with... Every different shoe, every different colorway, the, the strap will probably be a different material because they're going to tell stories. Really? And then if you touch the tongue, it's like hair. Yeah, like fox yeah. Hair. And then the logo was big thing. Right, big thing right. The logo. I didn't want a logo like everybody else, just having your initials in the logo. So, the fox, so we got, uh, got real creative with it. So I think it's a dope concept. And I think uh, whenever people start seeing, um, seeing other colorways, I think right. it's going to really come together. So How excited were you when you saw called, them? These can't be called like the beam. They're called the beam. The beam, uh, right, right. When you first saw the finished product, how excited were you? Man, I was ecstatic. Like we like to start, he gave me like 50, 60 different artworks. And he's like, really? which ones you like. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going through what I'm liking these, start putting some stuff together. And I mean, obviously I've ne- never made a shoe before. So right. I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was some certain things and I think it came out, I think it came out really well. No, these are not. Definitely You've seen, out. already seen some colorways that's in, in the works here yeah, that's coming some, up? Some fire. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to debut a new colorway for the first game of the season. Yeah. Um, these come out in December. There's one that, there's two that actually come out before it. Okay. But I'm not going to debut the second colorway for a while. Okay. The first, the first, and I, I wore these for media day because everybody's already seen these. Yeah, we've seen these, these on social and everything. These are the yeah. third ones that'll come out. But the first ones that'll come out, I'm gonna wear those for the first game of the season. You know how so. big this is, though. Like, I mean, from a kid, for a kid from Texas, <laughs> yeah, like, you know how this is made. Like, I'm, I grew up in Philly. I dreamed of stuff like yeah. this. Now you yeah. got it, man. Yeah, it's funny. So I actually, before we left Houston, um, went back to my high school and we gave them uh, everybody on the boys and girls varsity uh, basketball okay. team uh, a pair of the swipers that are only made. Four side legs for my for the for my high school. Yeah, high school. Yeah. So it's like an all silver. We're Spartan, so I got the Spartan logo. Uh, it's a silver tail, but the end of the tail is red. Mm. So like it's that's it's pretty awesome. sweet. That's it's, nice. It's a, dope, nice. it's a dope colorway. So only only those kids have them. Only those kids get those. It's good Thank stuff. Thank I'll, I'll, so I'll have a pair. Of, of course, I gotta get myself a pair. So I'll, I'll have <laughs> right. You gotta I'll, have one I'll too. Have a pair yeah. of those. Maybe I, I might wear those. What size too. you wear? By the way, 12, I'm, I'm just 12, asking. I'm 12, just... twelve and a half. <laughs> 12, I'm saying I'm, I'm a thirteen. I'm a twelve so... off the court. Okay. I play in the twelve and a half. You go in the twelve and a half. Yeah. Okay. 
Let now me ask you this though, too, because I, I I heard he's got to get going here. I think. Oh, he got to yeah. go. All right, <laughs> last question, last going. last question, Deep Fox. I heard Demar doesn't lace his shoes up. Have you Crazy. ever tried yeah, that? I've like seen, you ever? No, no, like, no, no, I would not do that. Right. I know. I I I didn't used to uh, lace my shoes super tight though. Okay. Okay. Like, they would be moderate. Let them breathe but, a little bit. Though. Yeah, I'd never because then if I tied them too tight, I felt like I'm squeezing my foot, and it never it was never right. Comfortable. Right. But him not lacing them up at all is That's wild. Crazy. Like, I heard. I saw the Lon, uh, on Lonzo's thing. Yeah. He was like, yo, like, I looked down, or or maybe it was Jeff T. Yeah, it was Jeff T. Like, I looked down yeah. and those shoes not even tied. Yeah. So, no, I could never do that. Like and he's giving 30 <laughs> in, in untied shoes. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Wild. His shoes Look don't come detail. off. That's kind of crazy. Man. So when can people yeah, get these? Right here. Yeah, so, when, oh, when, wow. when these hitting stores and everything? Uh, so these will be December 27th. Okay. Um, The second one's come out December 20th, my birthday. Okay. And then um, the first one's come out December 6th. Oh, right in time for just Christmas time and for everything. The holidays. Yeah. Just time for the holidays. Because Steph, uh, Steph's having some stuff that's coming out, too, so we okay. don't want to clash. You know I could talk to you for all night about this stuff. <laughs> I want to ask you about China and everything, man. You had a crazy offseason, man. I had man. a hell of an offseason. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to get to work, man. All right. Yeah. Best, Best of luck this year. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, sir. Always. Yes. The Aaron Fox. We're back with more from uh, Media Day Drive Guys next on Sacktown Sports.